Okay, children. So, good afternoon. So, we our lesson for this afternoon about the effects of typhoon to people and community. Okay? Okay. So, our lesson for today is about the effects of typhoon to people and the community. Please be guided with your week 3 module. May I now check the attendance if all of you are present kindly raise your hand if your names are called okay so good afternoon be ready one that you're going to listen with this song okay and then you may follow after me okay song goes this way what shall we do before a typhoon before a typhoon before a typhoon what shall we do before a typhoon we shall stay updated okay so you may follow with me let's go what shall we do during a typhoon during a typhoon during a typhoon what shall we do during a typhoon we shall stay at home and oh. let's go to the third stanza kindly sing with me what shall we do after a typhoon after a typhoon after a typhoon what shall we do after a typhoon we shall clean our home so what do you think are the effects of typhoon to men and the community or to the people and the community so again if you want to recite just raise your hand okay for you to be called moving on okay so uh reporting a typhoon okay so yes i call on camille yes camille so what can you say about a typhoon okay so yes mm -hmm. you said that a typhoon is a very a strong whirling wind okay which is usually in a counterclockwise direction yes okay and for the other activity i want that uh, some of you will be giving your report okay you may flash on the screen some details of your report about the name of the typhoon that you know the wind speed the possible effect and the precautionary measures okay so uh during the weather update i think it was mentioned that uh, there is a typhoon okay in the visayas region or a low pressure area okay so i want that you're going to give some details of those and then moving on for you to be energized i want that you're going to do some of this four pixel word okay so the instruction here is you're going to analyze the pictures in each slide and you're going to write your answers on your show me board so a band paper wherein you will write your answers okay remember wrong spelling is wrong yes so you're already in grade five that's why you should be aware also of your spelling you'll see their pictures and you're going to form a word out of those four pictures so later on we'll check your answers if they are correct okay so for the first mm, okay what do you think is the word for that Okay, so I want that you will write them on your show me board. Okay, and then flash it later. Let's go to number two. Okay, look at those pictures. Okay, seen those uh, settings on news, TVs like those, or YouTube, yes, Facebook. Okay, so those are what so devastated the command that you're going to write your answers 
So may I just count five seconds for you to finish your number two answers, okay? So five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, time's up. Let's move to number three. We look at those four pictures. So moving on to number three, okay? So kindly look at the four pictures and kindly write a word which you can get or derive from those four pictures. Yes. So kindly look carefully at those pictures. Okay, time's up. You're given uh, one minute for each picture. And then this one. Hmm. So... You can read there, warning leptospirosis, health hazard, fresh water streams and mud, possibly polluted with bacteria, exercise caution. And then on the next picture, you will see there a picture of a hospital. And then uh, on the left, yes, you will see there organisms and then a boy who feels sick. We have here the next pictures. Oh, what do you think is the word which is appropriate for those four pictures? Mm -hmm. And then the next one, what do you think? is a word which is appropriate for all of those you can see their children living in a dirty place and also communities in polluted area yes mm -hmm. and then that one okay Okay, so let's go over your answers, everybody. Kindly flash your answers, which you wrote on your show me board. Okay, and then honestly, check the spelling and your answers. Okay, so the answer for number one is flood. Flood is an increase of water over the place. Next, number two. Number two is landslide or soil erosion number three damage yes you can see there damage or destruction number four is sickness or disease sickness or disease number five is death or loss of life and number six is poverty or lack of basic Needs. Okay, so let's uh, flash again the pictures a while ago. Okay, so that's flood. Then that's landslide or erosion. Damage or destruction. Mm -hmm. And then that's sickness or disease. And there is death or loss of life. And lastly, is poverty or lack of basic needs okay so i want that you're going to check your answers and then raise your hand right hand if you got all your answers correctly okay so very good for those who have uh perfect or those who got a high score of four or five or six for those who got uh other answers okay better review and yes memorize the answers for those okay so i want that we're going to have a discussion okay on the effects of typhoon to people and the community okay so as shown on the picture okay you will see there that there is an increase in the level of water on the streets okay and that's 
that causes flooding. Okay, so what would be the effect of these two men? Okay, look, rides on a motor cycle. Okay, that is hard up in uh, driving. Okay, so as with the cars which are passing by the roads, buses, like that. And then for the next picture, you will see there what could be that. Yes. Okay, yes. Show me. What do you think is that? That is a damage of house or damage of property. Damage of property. And the next one, you will see there soil erosion or the carrying away of water because of maybe heavy rains and too much water waste for them to pass so it can carry soil okay and that causes landslide landslide or carrying away of water now look at those uh, vegetables okay so that was af just after uh typhoon okay i think yes typhoon devastated the produce of farmers so i think those are cabbages yes cabbages and you see uh, instead of the farmers harvesting those okay they will not be uh, benefiting already with their produce because of typhoon and that can cause uh, loss of their income and lack of supply to people and people will experience less supply okay what about that okay so i think that is a picture of who would tell me which picture is that okay so that's a picture of a school so do you think that school is safe with that kind of uh, situation or picture okay yes john yes it's not you will see that the the ground is nearly is nearly to be fallen okay so i think the rappelling or wall walling stone walling was washed out by the typhoon okay and that's not safe if we will be having a, a classroom or a school like that okay of course children are not advised to go to school and what would be the effect of that okay yes if there will be no school what will happen to children yes they will have interruption in their lesson just like today we have this great problem about the covid pandemic and uh, we are all experienced difficulty in the instruction the delivering of uh, your lessons that's why we are also trying our best to do lessons like this okay either online or recorded so that it can suffice the module that you have okay so that's the effect of typhoon to students and teachers or to people in school next is oh have you seen this have you imagined this kind of setting where have you seen this kind of setting children Okay, so may I just see if how far you're updated with our news. Yes, yeah, so that was way back uh, 2013, I think, during the devastation of Typhoon Yolanda or y y the Super Typhoon Yolanda. And you see how devastated the community all the properties the buildings oh my gosh look at those okay effects of this typhoon and uh, many people 
के नीडेड सपोर्ट रिलीफ फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज इन काइंड और इन कैश एंड दिस केव अ ग्रेट प्रॉब्लम टू अवर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ कोर्स आफ्टर दैट ओके द पीपल देर वर लॉस ऑफ लाइफ फॉर पीपल फॉर एनिमल्स लॉस ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज लैंडस्लाइड ऑल द थिंग्स विच आर इफेक्ट्स ऑफ टाइफोन एंड टूडे आई थिंक इट वॉज रिहेबिलिटेटेड एंड पीपल वर गिवेन फ्री हाउसिंग बिकॉज यू इमेजिन दैट फ्रॉम from their ha properties from having a properties and then going back to zero the worst is that they will have death or loss of life okay so next yes that is an evacuation center okay so you see in our setting this time during the pandemic this setting is not uh, advisable because the place would become crowded okay so we would be praying that uh, we will not be having such kind of typhoon which can cause uh, damage to our properties and cause evacuation and then look at those people okay which were buried which the typhoon so here in our place i remember that during the typhoon ompong we experienced also flood yes along trunkville going to balili river and people also experienced uh, yes flooding on those nearby places and that interrupted of course the uh, a uh, routine or common uh, this daily activities okay so do you have any more sharing about the other effects that you have seen here in our localities what about those from la trinidad did you experience in la trinidad did you also experience landslide oh yes can you give a uh, little uh, sharing Lily Beth Oh yes it's about the landslide that happened in Little Kibungan way I don't remember already the the, the year for that but all houses big houses were then okay many lives also were lost okay and the evacuation that was used was the Pugis elementary school during yes now some more what other experiences yes uh remembering the typhoon ompong okay yes michaela can you share mm -hmm. ay oo oh, oh, yung doon sa itogon nakita naman natin din ang nangyari sa itogon grabe ang nangyari rin sa itogon okay Maraming mga nalibing na mga minero, na mga bahay, na mga tao dahil doon sa landslide sa Itogon which was uh, uh, the effect of typhoon, super typhoon umpong. Okay, so the one that I showed you, okay, are worst effects of typhoon. Okay, so commonly there are lesser effects which are Yes, heavy rains, uh, uprooting of plants, uh, damage of properties which are light, but not much of, yes, losing life and properties. So, we'd be lucky here in Baguio because we are in a highland. That's why we do not experience much flooding like which was shown there. Okay, although there are some areas just like in, what do you call this one? Uh, along Queen of Peace, yes, we're in 
there is also flooding there because of what? Why is it or why do you think that there is still flooding here in the highland? Okay, yes, it's because of improper disposal of garbage. Okay, so there are also instances where in cloggings of canals, waterways, rivers, creeks were clogged with plastics and that causes flooding. Okay, also uh, it is what happened i think along balili river where in the construction of the bridge causes the backflow of water instead of flowing into the river okay yes okay this one we have uh, cited you have cited already itogon and little kibungan and some other areas somewhere uh, ambyong like that the road was cut all ro also in ambyong and it was just recovered last year okay and furthermore we have here sickness okay so during typhoon sickness or illness also happen okay why because of contamination of water so what do you think is the best way to to practice when you want to drink water you should boil them okay and make sure that the water that you're drinking is clean boiled to avoid contamination of bacteria to avoid uh, stomach ache headache uh, lbm amoebiasis okay like those to avoid the worst which is loss of death okay so you will see there okay in summary the effects of typhoon so i want that you're going to read okay so may i just ask you some to read this one what are the effects of typhoon okay so what are the effects of typhoon to the community number one Flooding, increase of water level over the place. Number two. Landslide, soil, soil erosion. Number three. Damage of destruction of infrastructures to infrastructures people. Infrastructures to people. people. Number four. This is sickness. Or sickness. Number five. Poverty, lack of basic needs. Yes. Number six. Shortage of foods. Okay, number seven. Loss of income. Yes, loss on, of income. No money for the family. Number eight. Accidents. Accidents. And number nine is? Death or loss of life. Death or loss of life. So, no one among us would want to have those effects of typhoon. So, you are learning this one so that you will know how to prepare. Because if we are prepared okay then we will be preventing this uh, bad effects of typhoon to the community and to the people or to us okay, if we are properly informed if you are properly educated or instructed you will be ready sabi nga natin tayo ay laging handa okay sa lahat ng sakuna dapat tayo ay laging Handa. Okay, so have you seen the pictures on the effects of man and the community? Of course, I know that you have seen them. Okay, and you also cited the effects Okay, here in our vicinity in Baguio City and Trinidad and the whole region of Cordillera. Okay, so I think the the last time that we experienced it is during the typhoon Ompong and we will pray that it will not uh, happen again okay yes also flooding okay we can prevent it what do you think are the ways what was mentioned a while ago uh, wherein you're going to prevent the flooding yes the discipline proper disposal of garbage and avoiding 
avoiding dumping of those plastics. So as pupils, can you help in prevention of landslide and flooding? Okay, so I want that later on you will make a slogan, okay, for you to campaign on the prevention of landslide and flooding. So that would be your next activity later on. So yes, what would be the reason? We already mentioned those going to flash this one and give you five minutes to answer this one just write your answers so again you're going to give the effects of typhoon as described below carrying away of soil because of heavy rain so i want that you're going to write your answers we'll do it for five minutes number two the rise of water level than the normal in different areas Wrong spelling is wrong. So I am going to test your spelling ability. The rise of water level than the normal in different areas. Number three, no or lack of basic needs. No basic needs or lack of basic needs. What is this effect? Number four, when people experience vomiting, stomach ache, headache, typhoid, and leptospirosis because of urine of rats, what do you think is this? Number five, properties may collapse or parts are destroyed. Properties may collapse or parts are destroyed. Okay, so again, I'll give you two minutes to finalize your answers. Kindly look at the flushed activity. Okay, so I think you are doing well in our lesson. Okay, and please kindly remember all the learnings that you have because... Uh, it is. Uh, it should be that you will remember for you to apply in your future life. Okay, so that's it, children. I'll be waiting for another one minute. Okay, so let's check your answers again. Kindly, honestly, check your answers. Okay, and. Uh, be mindful of the spelling. Okay, number one, landslide, L-A-N-D-S-L-I-D-E, or soil erosion, S-O-I-L-E-R-O-S-I-O-N. Number two, flood, F-L-O-O and then D. Number three, poverty. Okay, finally check on the screen that I am sharing with you. Number four, disease or sickness. Number five, damage or destruction. And then a while ago, I told that you're going to, uh, for your assignment, I want that you're going to make a slogan as your campaign to prevent landslide and soil erosion. Yes. And then I want that you're going to uh, go to your, uh, what do you call this one? Module. Okay, so... I want that you will go to your module and then have the assessment, okay? So, on your module, okay, you will see there on the last part, which is the assessment, five questions, okay? So, there are also choices wherein you will choose your answers. So, direction, the direction is this one. Read each statement carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your answer sheet. The following are observed before a typhoon except one, which among the following is an exemption. A. Big clouds are risen to the sky. B. The relative humidity is high. C. The air is dry and cold. And letter D. There is strong wind and heavy rain. Okay. So again, letter A, big clouds are risen to the sky. B, the relative humidity is high. 3, the air is dry and cold. 
and number or letter D, there is strong wind and heavy rain. Okay, let's go to number two. Which is not observed during a typhoon? A. Rescue and relief operations are ongoing. B. Flash floods may occur due to heavy rain. C. There are high ocean tides and storm surge. D. Trees and crops may be tilted or uprooted. Okay, and then for A, I want that you are going to answer them quietly. So you will ons only answer up to number 5. Okay, children, so I'll give you 5 minutes to finish this one. Give you five minutes to finish or finalize your answers. Let's go back to your assignment. So again, it says there, make a slogan as your campaign to prevent landslide and flooding. So prevention is still better than uh, all those bad effects and to recover. We avoid those bad effects by preventing the occurrence of landslide and flooding again children okay that's for our lesson i will hope that you have learned something and i want that you will apply it not only once but all throughout your life okay and you will also teach them to your children okay so bye for today children see you on the next lesson bye